we all know there are no constants in life we experience highs and lows throughout our existence in either our financial status our mental state and most importantly in our relationships i think this is more so with us women early in our lives we leave the security of our parents home and become part of a brand new family and adopt a totally different lifestyle this in itself causes much emotion to turmoil which may not be felt in the early days of wedded bliss but the impact is there soon enough as life goes on we learn to adjust but then new problems emerge each person's life is unique with different challenges there is not a single person without his or her share of problems misery and heartache at this stage having someone to talk to openly and freely being understood and even being directed in an unobtrusive way is a big consolation and gives a sense of direction but what helps most is our faith our ability to remain calm being patient and our belief that ultimately this too shall pass why can't people live in peace i think about this very often why is it so hard for us to accept people of different faiths skin color and features as part of ourselves why is racism so difficult to obliterate from the minds of people is it an intrinsic need for us to feel superior to others i think most of it comes from pure ignorance and fear if only we let the horizons of our mind open up we will see there is no difference in human beings and whether i am black brown or white low caste or upper caste my emotions dreams and aspirations are the same our political leaders no matter which part of the world they belong to play on our fears in order to divide and rule let's not get pulled into the tornado of hatred for other peoples and other faiths growing up in an indian hindu family in the 1950s and 60s our elders taught us respect for the hindu religion but never any animosity towards the other people or other faiths or other castes in india racism is further complicated not only on religious lines but also the caste system which delineates social interaction based on caste Fortunately because of my parents open mindedness and empathy for others I ingrained tolerance for all faiths and when my three children got married each chose a spouse of a different faith I am so proud of them and their choices let's strive to live in peace and friendship rather than hate and conflict समय की इस अनवरत बहती धारा में अपने चंद सालों का हिसाब क्यों रखा जिंदगी ने दिया है जब इतना बेशुमार यहाँ तो फिर नहीं मिला उसका हिसाब क्यों रखा दोस्तों ने दिया है इतना प्यार दोस्तों ने दिया है इतना प्यार यहाँ तो दुश्मनी की बातों का हिसाब क्यों रखा दिन है उजालों से इतने भरपूर यहाँ तो रात के अंधेरों का हिसाब क्यों रखा खुशी के दो पल काफी हैं खुशी के दो पल काफी हैं खिलने के लिए तो फिर उदासियों का हिसाब क्यों रखूँ मिले हैं फूल यहाँ इतने किन्हीं अपनों से फिर कांटों पार, की चुभन का हिसाब क्यों रखूँ हंसी यादों के मंजर इतने हैं जिंदगी में हंसी यादों के मंजर इतने हैं जिंदगी में तो चंद दुख की बातों का हिसाब क्यों रखूं? चांद की चांद नहीं जब इतनी दिल का है तो उसमें भी दाग ये हिसाब क्यों रखूं? कुछ तो ज़रूर बहुत अच्छा है कुछ तो ज़रूर बहुत अच्छा है सभी में यारों फिर जरा सी बुराइयों का हिसाब द एप्स एंड फ्लोज ऑफ लाइफ 
The trick, I think, is negotiating the ebbs, the eddies, troughs and rapids while going with the flow. Simple enough, but somewhere along the way, existential doubts begin to assail us, making one pause to ask a few basic questions such as, why am I here? Or what is my purpose in life? To each his own, of course, I can only speak for myself. I have had, I realize, a rather privileged upbringing, but what to me is absolutely vital and essential was denied. Ruthlessly, thoughtlessly, perhaps unknowingly. Whatever, let's just say it was fate. To be born a free-spirited girl at a time and age that allowed no scope, either to be or to become. Family, age, country, all contrived to control and conform. Dad's military background somewhat eased the situation for it enabled a first-class education in top-end schools, providing exposure and opening a host of possibilities which, together with a natural love of learning and books, helped break the mold and come into my own. Growing up in the Bangalore of the 60s was fun and frustrating. I envied every Jill and Jane her freedoms. There were too many don'ts up my street. So I vowed there and then to someday live on my own terms, never to allow anyone ever again to limit or circumscribe, never to curtail another's freedom also. And if I had children, boy or girl, to bring them up equally and liberally. I have done that, I think, to the best of my ability. But reverting to the original question, what is my purpose in life? I'd answer by saying it is to contribute to the progress of mankind in whatever little way possible. The single most powerful emotion in this world is what one feels for one children. All of my youth was spent in looking after my two older daughters. Their needs, their wants, their desires were the only propelling factors of my life. I plodded, walked, hobbled, ran, fell down and got up but always holding on tight to their tiny little hands and running towards the light. My God has been the kindest. I did reach the light. Got two sons instead of sons-in-law. I thank God for his mercies and blessings for all of his kindnesses towards me and my girls. My mantra in life has been खुद ही को कर बुलंद इतना कि हर तदबीर से पहले खुदा बंदे से खुद पीछे बताते ही रजा क्या है थैंक यू अल्लाह फॉर ऑल दैट यू हैव डन फॉर मी फॉर ऑल योर ब्लेसिंग्स थैंक यू व्हेन आई थिंक ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स हु आई कॉल द तीखी मिर्ची ग्रू आई एम ऑलवेज रिमाइंडेड ऑफ दिस कंप्लेक्स बड़ी अजीब सी बंदिश है दोस्तों के प्यार में न उन्होंने कभी कैद में रखा और न हम कभी फरार हो पाए यू नो इट्स अ ग्रुप ऑफ फन हैप्पी पीपल एंड वी मीट एंड वी टॉक अबाउट द मंडेन एंड द नॉट सो मंडेन थिंग्स दैट अफेक्ट अस बस कुछ मैंने कहा कुछ उनकी सुनी और वक्त नहीं भी Yeah.